Michael Clark was born in 1946, and was sentenced to 16 years, in a Philippine jail in 1996, for a crime he did not commit. Michael died in Ubilipid Prison, in 2005 from tuberculosis after serving over 10 years of his sentence. David Clark, is Michael Clark's brother, living in Fareham. And in April 2011, he sought to obtain his deceased brother's past criminal record from the police. This posed as a threat to state security because David used false identity documents. This was a serious offence and David answered at Portsmouth Crown Court on the 28th of October 2011. In this documentary we will hear from David, the reasons for his actions. We have a stop press that the court case has finished and these are the results. The judge's summary was this. Well David Clark, I give you full credit for guilty pleas that were realised at the earliest opportunity. You do have some very old convictions but I am disregarding them they have no relevance to these matters. It is an involved case because you carried out these acts, for no personal gain, for motives that are still not clear, and they are closely connected with the dealings with your brother's records, and what should or should not happen in relation to them. I do take account of your personal difficulties. I have to say in obtaining documentation in this way has to be viewed very seriously, because documentation like passports etc. causes potential rise to the interest of the state security. And of course, no one would argue or deny that fact. However, the state also has a duty of care for its subjects. The state committed a crime of omission when it failed in its duty of care in connection with Michael. For two years the Embassy in Manila failed to get the much needed medical help for him despite my many requests to help him. They have also since failed in supplying me with his medical record and the National Bureau of Investigation report in connection with his death as we at one time had reason to believe that he was killed in the prison. The police also failed to provide the details of Michael's criminal record. Also, they have stated that he was a registered sex offender overseas. This was not a true statement of fact and I wish to clear my brother's name. This only goes to show that I had every reason to clear his name, but he died. Therefore his story is to be told and will be told. To do this, we will take you back to January 2003 inside New Belibid Prison where we will see Michael and David discussing their Trojan horse mission and their plans for the future. Here are David and Michael. Director and brother, David Clark. David, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am David Clark, I just told you, I'm your brother. And you're my older brother, but I became a Christian 30 years ago. And we are here, and this documentary that we're about to do is the beginning of a series. A series of what? Trojan Warriors, we call it. So this book, with this book, yes. this book yes. is the first in a series. The, the book is the first in a series, but the, the documentary we're doing now is um, about what it's all about, really, what Trojan Warriors are about. Okay, um, it was last year that you came to the Philippines for the first time. Yeah. What yeah. made you come to the Philippines? Well, it was the fact that you had become a Christian after ah, many years. It was the recognition yes. that after your prayer yes. for 30 years that you found out that your prayers have been answered. Well, I'm not saying I prayed for you for 30 years. Obviously I prayed for you, but the reality of it is this. I was converted 30 years ago. Christ actually spoke to me, no doubt about it, and set me on a mission. Well, I seem to remember, David, that um, after trying to explain about now how I was uh, set up for a crime I didn't commit, and you, in the Western world, felt that there's no smoke without fire, so you rejected me. You think I was bluffing or spoofing? Well, no, I didn't reject you. I felt you actually deserved getting sent away for what you were doing. But the fact is, I learned. That I didn't believe you was given the charge, but I thought you deserved what you got because I felt your lifestyle was immoral. Okay, 
It was the, it, it, what led you to me was the release of Sonny Wilson, who got acquitted off death penalty. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. suffering. Yeah. Now this is a man, That's this is That's a man, story. Sonny yeah. Wilson. Yeah. Now he's my dear friend here. Yeah. He came to you with a message. Yeah. Yeah. I asked him personally to go yeah. to you yeah. with an MBI yeah. report, yeah. which is in this That's book, right. yeah, yeah. that categorically says that I was not guilty. This proves that with a judicial system, my case would have been thrown out of court. Headline news. Man dies in prison in the Philippines Friday the 10th of June 2005. Michael Clark, 58, formerly of Willingdon Park Drive, has died from TB after serving a 10-year jail sentence. In 1995, he was accused of organizing child sex package holidays from Eastbourne. At the time, Clark was running Paradise Express, a company, which ran adult holidays to the Philippines. He claimed he had been tricked by the reporter and denied having any involvement in the child sex trade. He has always maintained he was innocent of the charge. He died on May the 27th. Just a week after his death David received the letter to confirm that he was set to be released early 2003, for good behavior. We spoke to brother David Clark, who is now based in Fareham, Hampshire. He said, I was shocked when we heard the charges against him and had no way of knowing the truth. While he was in jail, Clark converted to Christianity and helped other prisoners, including murderers on death row. In August 2001, David founded a prison mission called Trojan Horse International and went out to the Philippines to help his brother. Since then, Michael and David established an incorporation called Trojan Horse International Tulip Fills. Incorporated with a branch overseas in the UK that is dedicated to helping offenders to rehabilitate. David said, some good has come from this because within the J.I. Michael was able to do a lot for the other prisoners. 2005. If you want to find out more then visit the website converted on lsddrip.com.